was just like growing up on myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> there's some eats down there for anyone who'd like. And uh, you're, you're not able to read any area. Do you want to move it? I don't know. Right. Let's see if we can find something now. But that's it because it'd be a nice treat. What is it they want us to read? Yeah, Whatever see. they want. Uh, we want to hear about the toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what page would that be on here? No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Labrador Homes. How about something from there? Okay? Do you need the light on, Mom? Can you see all right there? Labrador Homes. Yeah, right there. Can you see it okay? Probably the one that we Sometimes soap which they had made from animal or sea fat and homemade lye was used. When they could not obtain or could not afford to buy the store bought tins of Dillard's lye, they made their home by using wood ashes which they soaked in water for a certain period of time. This soap had a strong smell and was used mostly for scrubbing floors and sometimes and overalls. All stoves were a wooden wood burning barrel oven type, mostly Waterloo or comfort. There was no furniture of any kind except the old made table and benches. If there was a baby in the house, you seldom saw a cradle or a crib, but I have seen a hammock made used. This was made by attaching a piece of fisherman's rope to a corner of a burlap bag. It was tied to the ceiling and used when the baby was small. As the mother moved about her work, the hammock was given a gentle push, put it in motion. This helped, I guess, to keep the baby quiet. The native babies were usually quiet. You seldom heard one cry, as in the chapel. <laughs> 